Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Mishura. Today I'd like to tie for you a Frosty Fly Hydropsyche Nymph. I'm going to use the, this is Frosty Fly Hydropsyche Nymph bodies and these are weighted. You can see they come already on there and these are really, really heavy uh, bodies too. This is a really simple fly to make. Since we're making just a nymph, we just have to put on the head and some legs. I'm going to use some black thread. Doesn't really matter. This is a size 12. Doesn't really matter what size thread you're using. You don't want to use like 3 op, but this is Vivus. I really like the Vivus. We're going to bring that thread right up to that body. And we're going to start with, I'm going to put a bit of a wing case there for lack of anything else to call it. But I'm going to use my Swiss straw and I colored a little bit of it. I was making a couple of them already and I colored it black. I'm going to color it black a little bit later with this Swiss straw when I fold it over it's going to look a lot like the color of the body that's already on top this according to the package this is an olive but it's a bit of a cream olive what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put some legs on there and to make the legs I'm going to use this is a pheasant tail center and this is dyed black I'm just going to take a bunch maybe about 10 or 12 And I'm going to tie them in, and I'm going to tie them in going across the hook shank. And I'm going to tie them, I'm, leave, I'm going to leave them pretty long. I'm going to give it a bit of a figure eight so that they are sticking straight out each side. I'm going to leave them long like this until... I get the rest of the body done. I'm going to go ahead and bring the thread back. I'm going to get a dubbing that's going to match the side there a bit and I'm going to use my olive brown. This is a Antron uh, hair's ear blend. And we're going to dub that on there pretty, we're going to use quite a bit of it here. Especially for this back piece that is right against the built body. So when we fold that over, it's not pulling and leaving a gap there so we want to really build that up right there put a little bit more on there and I'm going to taper that off a bit go ahead and kind of give that a bit of a figure eight there and let me turn that I just got to tighten that dubbing up there. I'm going to go go ahead and hold everything and wrap a few times right at the head just to get that material away from the head there or the eye. Now I'm going to take the uh, my Swiss straw. I'm going to take my black marker. I'm going to 
color that black marker there or that swiss draw there a little bit more and i'm going to darken the top part of my dubbing leave those sides the same color and i'm going to put a little bit of uh dark underneath there Just dirty that up just a little bit there. I'm going to go ahead and take my Swiss straw. I'm going to fold that over and tie that in. Hold those legs back. Oop. Hold those legs out of the way. And I'm going to trim off that straw wrap down that head good now I can go ahead and take the whip finish finish that up Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut the, uh, trim those legs. Got a couple hairs here, hair fibers sticking out there. And I'm going to trim those legs off. It doesn't matter. I mean, obviously that's too long, but, you know, take a snip. See how they they look and then if you have to snip a little bit more that's not going to be a problem just kind of rough them up there a little bit and there's your legs you know put a little bit of head cement on there like i said very easy this is a very heavy fly Visit Frosty Fly, get some bodies. They come six in a in a pack. And here we have the Frosty Fly Hydrocyc body. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.